Hello everybody, welcome back to Mist Survival. We are on day two, and we are back here to try and see if we can survive the mist. That's Mist Survival. Anyway, uh, day one, oh my gosh, uh, day one, we basically ran around a town and did not a whole lot of stuff, really. We just popped our head into some houses and dug through their loot and basically hit up only one house that had any bad guys. Not a whole lot of stuff going on on day one, just wandering around, getting a feel for the game again. So today we're going to try and get a little bit more focused. Um, one of the things that we need to work on is getting all of the stuff and things for our fence out here. Uh, the reason being is, is because in a previous alpha that I played, the zombie guys can't get through these types of fences. I don't know if that's the case in this alpha. I could be completely wrong. But in order for me to put like a, a tanning rack and a a forge and all kinds of stuff like that and basically all the cooking stuff out here so I can line up the inside hopefully with a whole bunch of interesting containers that is until I find a better place to live anyway um we're gonna need this area a little bit safer so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna take these into town along with this we've got a whole lot of stuff and things that we want to pick up this I'll probably leave in town until I get back to it just because there's a couple of things that are First and foremost, in my mind, of things that I need to worry about, one is I need to get a pencil and find out what town I'm currently in so I can make a plan as to where I'm going. Um, half of this town over here is still under construction, so even though the loot will probably respawn in a few days at some point, I don't know exactly when, the, the fact that, oh my gosh, the strobes, uh, the fact that half of the buildings have nothing in them is not exactly helpful. And uh, editing this, make sure you leave in my explanation because um, reasons people need the explanations of what we're doing. You can't just cut that stuff out because I'm babbling. I mean, you could cut out the fact that I'm babbling, but I'd prefer it if you didn't cut out the fact that I was babbling. Okay? Okay. Um, uh, yesterday it was this house, right, that had bad guys. Do they respawn whenever I come back in or do they stay gone? Okay, they stay gone for a little while. Let me find the house that I was raiding where I found the pencil, because that's going to... I think it was this first house, actually. That's going to tell me where I need to go on the map. Now, I actually looked online to see whether or not people had started working out locations for certain things on the map, specifically, like, where... Uh, before there was a mine that we had to eventually find, and in my last playthrough, I never even found the mine in that playthrough, so... I was kind of curious exactly how far people had gotten in this one, how far the map has progressed, and all of that. But, uh, that is... Uh, that's it. Okay, I'll take that, and I'll take the food. <laughs> I'll take this ammo, and the sewing kit. I need that pencil. Okay. Uh, okay. Where are we at? Current location. We are in this town. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got this set of buildings, this set of buildings, and all of these. This side of town is more or less empty. There's really not a whole lot going on on it. Uh, this is a farm. That's a farm. That's the one I poked my head in, but it was starting to get dark, so I left. Uh, that's the church, and I didn't see anything in the church. So this is the farm that I stuck my head in. So we can check the other side of town, too. Okay, now that we know that, that makes it so much easier. Okay. All right, all right. Um, checklist of things. Checklist of stuff and things that we are after. Backpack. Um, components and scrap are used for a lot of different crafting materials. Those are the things that I'm after as far as that goes. Uh, did, did I use up the pencil when I did that? Holy hell, that one mark used up the whole damn pencil. Awesome. Uh, do I have... Yeah, just go ahead and put that in there. No sense in carrying around that extra. Here we go. Put that in there. And I'll keep the food on me because I'm actually kind of hungry. Okay, so I had thoughts of going into this place. Or going back over there to the farm. Do I go ahead and clear this? I think... If I'm not mistaken, there is something in there that I have to destroy in order to keep the fog from coming back. 
This is a good place, I think, to hit for food. And while I do need food, it's not the top of my priority list. So how about we go back over here and make sure I got everything. It was way too late whenever I went over there last time. And I need to circle this building. I realized during the editing that I didn't even circle the building. And that's the other place that's got the, the fog to it. Okay. You can't go in the back door, so that's all there. This is... Uh, yeah, it doesn't have a work in progress on here, but it definitely does not have all of the stuff and things that it should have. There's also a house up there. Okie dokie. Let's take a peek. I kind of skirted this area because I didn't know what to expect and I didn't want to get into trouble at the end of the evening. So what do we have? We have a well. A cart wheel? Can we make a cart? Hang on. Build. Um, there's all those containers. I don't see a cart. There are so many building things, though, but uh, before we start trying any of the building stuff, we definitely need to make sure that we are willing to stay wherever it is that we're at. I don't think you get the resources back when you start breaking things down. Okay. Now, the bad guys, I think. I did, like, a brief going over the bad guys, but I honestly didn't know exactly what to expect as far as the bad guys go, but there's basically the zombies that we fought last time. Those are the basic zombies that have an issue with light and stuff like that. But there are other types of zombies that I personally have never run into. So I would like to theorize on what those zombies are. Ooh, fuck it. Um, I think there's another. There's other types of zombies that are not affected by the sun as much. Plus there are bandits that we have to worry about. So, okay, we've got concrete bags here. Uh, wheels, scraps. I'll take the scraps. A chainsaw? Wait, what? A chainsaw. Oh, okay. <laughs> that description basically covers it. Okay, we have a chainsaw. Nice. Um, I didn't even know that was in the game. That's pretty cool, though. Uh, what, what, what else? Um, bandits. See, I kept stopping myself whilst I was talking before because I was just ogling the whole environment. Guys, I do apologize for last episode. I spent a lot of time just looking at the scenery and figuring things out and trying to remember how to play the game that I spent a lot of time not actually talking and editing Liz was quite irritated and cutting large amounts of content out because I was just sitting there ogling things and playing with buttons. So, um, our bad guys, basic bad guys, then we've got varying levels of zombies and I don't even know how many levels there are. I know that there are some that exist in the world and there are some that are in the mines that are different than the ones that live out here, I think. And I don't know what has been added to the game, what's been taken away from the game. Plus, on top of the regular zombie bad guy things, we have, uh, I think, bears, if the bears are still in here, and we have wolves, and there's a mist coming in. Uh, we have bears and wolves, and we also have bandits, I think. Okay, is this morning mist, or is this bad mist? Do we have bad guys? I don't know. Let's cover that place last because I don't know exactly how often we come across things to fix our our mask. So let me get let me check everything else. Why do I hear pulsing? What's in here? I really want some backpack space, guys. You know how I am with these games. I like to pick up all of the stuff and things, and the fact that my inventory is so limited is extremely frustrating. Oh, well, this would be a great place to hide if, like, a mist came in. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember this place. I want the ability to mark on my map, not just the current location and stuff. Um, I don't know how far the development guy, girl, no clue, uh, the development person has gotten... I would like the, be the ability to actually be able to write on my map. Like, if I have to pick up a pencil in order to mark my location to find out where I'm at, it would be nice if it was like uh, Project Zomboid where you could write information on your map. Like, um, maybe just stamp it like they do in 70s, or like you could fully write on your map or something like that in Project Zomboid would be nice. Um, here is another base. Uh, 
Okay. <clears throat> Do you have more containers or storage space or anything? Because that is kind of what I'm lacking at my place. Nice. And no containers. Did they nerf the ability to find containers in this game? Because good lord, I found so many of them during my first day last time, and I have found a whole one. Did I just hear a chicken? Destroy seeker nest? First. Oh, you can come in here and actually destroy something, and then you can claim it. Oh, a canister. That's good. That's good. A bucket. Matches. Components we definitely need. Can I please have containers? Nest. That's what their nests look like? Okay. Why do I hear chickens? Is this where we can get chickens? Garden gloves, I'll leave. I hate to do that, but I can't carry everything. So is this like a the chicken that I am hearing right now? Can I claim the chicken if I could clear this area? Is that what it's telling me? Oh, more components. Need those. Scrap. I am full. Okie dokie. Well, that did not take very long to get full, now did it? Holy hell. Um... Am I full on those? No. Okay, and there was a body over here that I just briefly glanced over. Uh, you had food and a silencer, so can I do like a swap and take the silencer? You can have one of the buckets and I'll take the food for now. Just hold on to it for me, I will be back. Alright guys, come on out of there. Okay, now sadly the AI for this particular game, these particular bad guys, I don't know about the others because I haven't faced them, but these particular AIs are very, very easy to deal with. They don't like the sun, so you drag them out in the sun and they won't stay very long. There we go. The good news is, is typically they carry a couple of things that are useful. Excuse me, guys! Ow. Ow. Uh -uh. You, sir. <laughs> Thank you for your potato. Um, he was very, very interested in doing stuff and things. Okay, I guess I'm not going to go in there after him. Excuse me, sir. I hope you are the only one that's left in here. Because I don't really have it in me to fight all kinds of bad guys. Okay, and another jar. I'll just take those outside. I think I'll eat this. Thank you, thank you. Nice. A little bit of stuff. Oh, 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 oh! I should not have had my mask on while I was doing that. Okay. Apparently time passes like that. Awesome. Okay, and I'm full. Okie dokie, let's go drop this stuff off with the other stuff. I hope this stuff doesn't disappear because this is a whole lot of looting I'm doing with the prospect of possibly being able to come pick it up later. Uh... Okay, um... Did I have... Yeah, I really don't have anything for that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a hold to those. That's... Uh, that. And then I'll carry this with me. And we're gonna run home and so I can get me something to drink. So, see you in a minute. Whoa. 
What is that? Is that a big radio tower? Guys, I am so interested in getting these basic supplies up and going so we can go and explore the new map and everything. Just not quite there yet. Okay, I uh, dropped that. I'm actually, like, needing something to drink. So let's go up here and get ourselves a soda because I don't have a water fountain thing yet. Water fountain thing. Yes. You know. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can see the onions and the carrots and stuff. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now I need a bucket and one more firewood, actually. I saw some firewood, but I also have a bucket somewhere, right? Yes. Okie dokie. Now if I run... Uh, let me put all this stuff up so I actually have room. Uh, there was some more firewood where I can get the purifier going. Uh, it makes me wonder if I could take the other bucket and fill it up with water. Probably. But I can do that this evening. That's not what I meant to do. Pick up clay. I'll take that axe, actually. Come on, where was that filter? Sugar in the alley. Ah, there's the firewood I saw. I'll take that. Uh, filter, filter, filter. Where was the filter thing over here? Then, of course, there's that. Ow, 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 ow. Okie dokie. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, a backpack! Heck yeah! Two slots. Nice. Nope. No loots. Okay, and there's still like 5,000 things in, in some of these buildings that are down here, but I can't actually carry everything. And I'm still hunting for that one thing in particular. I remember seeing a filter. But I don't remember where I saw that. High quality metal scraps are probably very, very important. Let's hold on to that for now. Uh, let me check this house and see if I saw the filter in here before we have bad guys come back. Okie dokie, this house is clear. There wasn't actually a whole lot of loot in this house to begin with. Okay. Now where the hell did I see that filter at? Maybe down here in this house? I still want to see what's upstairs and see if there's any containers in here. Oh, this house is not available. Where the hell did I see that filter? You know what? We're just going to have to come back to the food uh, place. There might be a container in there or not. I can't actually spend 5,000 years looking for a damn filter I saw earlier. Dang it. I hate having to leave things behind. I would rather spend time emptying in each one of the buildings or each one of the houses and moving everything into the center. So that way at least I know I didn't leave anything in the houses. And I wouldn't have to keep going in and out of the houses, you know? Still no filter. Okay, a good hotkey right here would be the ability to just quick drop something. Like being able to hit like D or something and dropping it out of my inventory and straight onto the ground. That would be an ob um, a very cool uh, hotkey. Um, just as a suggestion, a thought or something like that. Okay, I'm going to take this and we're going to go to the other side of town. I want to check out these buildings before the end of the day. I've got to start doing some of the checklist, make sure I'm actually checking all of the stuff and things. I will eventually find that damn filter I saw before. Let's go over here to this one. Please do not come in. I am making progress. We've got everything moved out to that area. Is there a revival going on? Are we an outlast? 
Here, you stay here. Let's see if there's any bad guys. Knock, knock! Bad guys! Hello? I don't hear any. Okay. Okay. Uh, small tire. There's gonna be like a bicycle or something that I can uh, get or make or something like that. That would be freaking amazing. I wouldn't have to cut out so much running time. Holy hell, that would be awesome. Is there a bike frame somewhere? Uh, what's up here? Is this a good hiding spot? Hello? Uh, and I can't get up there. It looks like there's a couple of places where you could go up there. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to go inside that one. Let's check over. Ah! Let's check over here. Um, in case anybody's like never played Miss Survival, if you're running wondering why I'm running around with a box in my hands, um, I have limited backpack space, but I can carry this container around with me and fill it up and still pick it up. So it is a good idea to walk around or whenever you get a vehicle, put one of these things inside your vehicles. Do we have bears over here? Oh, hang on. Um Let's check over here because we've already found a corpse hidden around this stuff and things before. So who knows? Could be something. I thought I saw someone moving. Dung. Animal dung. <gasps> a new container! You know what? I will accept your contribution to my survival. Thank you so much. Now look at this. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, obviously, trying to get both of these containers back home would be something of a pain. What's on his face? Okay, is that... Oh, there's more than one. Okay, I spy a new type of zombie. Ugh. Medusa's cousin hentai! Okay, well, let's just ignore that for a minute. I'm not sure that I should be fighting bigger boss guys. I don't know how much ammo they take or what they take. Um, I may not be ready for that. I know I can handle the little guys, and they still smack me upside the head every now and then, but... The bigger dudes? What's he doing? Out of curiosity, how much can you cheese these guys? Because there is a big tower right here. And I do have one gun. Hold on. How many ammo do I have? Five. I doubt very seriously we're going to go against a boss uh, zombie. But then again, I guess maybe they're not boss boss zombies. The boss zombies are supposed to be... Um, inside the mine, yes, this is how this works. At least as far as I am understanding, the bosses are inside the mine. Ah. Ooh, that I was... Dude, you got me so excited. Oh, vest armor? Hey, I'll take that. I thought this was a backpack. Can I take the backpack, though? I opened his head. Best armor? <laughs> now I just need a cup and I'm covered. <laughs> Alright, uh... I'm not sure if I should be fighting with these guys just yet. I don't have a whole lot of ammo. If I had a few more weapons... Uh, save game. Because I did find some... I found some chest armor. That's pretty good. Um, if I had, like, a secondary weapon that I could rely on for the ammo and I knew I would be able to take them out, that would be one thing. I just don't want to get myself wrecked this early, you know? Uh... Okay, if I knew where you were patrolling at, I would walk around the other areas just to see if maybe there's some continu continuous loot. 
if there's some extra good loot that's over here because you exist over here that I could just like get and run off with? Possibly? I mean, I did save it, guys. I'm not crazy. I did save. Come on. Okay, that stuff's in there. I'm not seeing the green mist, but I think it still exists around those things. Gotta be careful. I don't want it killing me just because I'm not paying attention. Okay. Especially now I've got two containers, which doesn't seem like a whole hell of a lot, but trust me guys, it's a whole hell of a lot. Okie dokie. Oh, was there anything over here? Are there more stuff and things here? Yes? No? Maybe? Oh, we can go on a hayride! I'm gonna sit right here. Right here. I don't know what that guy over there is running at, but he really thinks he's going to get whatever it is. I need a truck. Maybe that's what my first focus should be, but then again, gas is kind of hard to come by, so a vehicle is not really something I usually consider during the first couple of, you know, days. Okay, so what's the likelihood with all of the stuff and things I can find in all of these various vehicles, I can get a vehicle together? Probably not likely. What does that truck need? Obviously all four wheels. All four wheels, a battery, an engine, spark plugs, and of course gas. I have got a wheel and an engine, and I can check the rest of the vehicles for... Not a wheel and an engine, I've got a wheel and a battery. Take 10 minutes. Go ahead. Okay, let's just check around. Make sure we don't have a bug coming in before I start on the next part. I hate when it does that. It's like a light fog and it's like, you don't know if it's going to be the fog that you need to worry about. Five minutes. Sounds about right. I need a sneeze. Okay, so we've got one wheel. Uh, let me run around, check all of the vehicles and make sure I don't have any spark plugs or anything like that hiding around. Daggummit. I was really hoping for a filter. I want to go back in that building. I feel like now I just cheated myself out of it because I stood in there and ate food. But... Probably not paying attention to there was basically two stores right next to each other. I'm like blind. Wait for it. Um, wait, what time is it? 14.23. Yeah, I can throw this other tire on there. And then go check out this other store. Maybe I can find another container. Uh, T-shirts. Clothing. Scissors. Duct tape. We all know in the apocalypse that's very important. Revolver around no. Yeah, I don't care. I don't have a, a revolver. Leave that right there. Come on. Have some good stuffs, please. Bandages are good stuffs. Keeping an eye out. I don't want it sneaking a mist on me. I had one day one, which is Weird, but okay. Some adhesive. Uh, this goes out to the back alley. It's another pair of shoes. My shoes do wear down over time, so that's not bad. Okay, let's drop everything. I have got so much crap sitting over here. Uh... Uh, no. Drop that and stack that. There we go.
I don't hear any bad guys. Batteries? Wait. Oh, oh, oh. They are pickup things. Can I... Can I have them? Okay, yeah, they are pickup. I, I can't pick them up, though. Apparently there's some sort of a collision, something or another, going on with that particular box. That probably is a bug. Another pencil? And apparently when there are events going on in world, if I have a pencil in my inventory, I can use that pencil... Revolver ammo. I can use that pencil to mark wherever the event is happening, and I guess maybe... Because I got involved in the event, something happens. I don't actually know what the events are. I haven't seen any information on that at all. Ooh, kidoki. Uh, nothing, but there's a whole lot of gas in that one. Were there any vehicles on this road? Wait, can I pick up these clothes? Uh, no, they're kind of gross anyway, so I understand why I can't. Oh yeah, that's a mist. That's that's a mist. I don't know if I got this building right here or not. I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. And I got all these. I don't know if I hit this one. Bad guy. Right now would be a great time to farm the bad guys. Like if I had a base and I had a good setup and everything, I could actually farm these little guys for stuff and things because they do tend to carry stuff and things. But sadly, I don't have a base for it, and I'm stuck in town, so I'm going to try and sleep through it. Oh, maybe I can't. Now that I've already heard the spooky music, maybe I can't now. Too close to a bad guy, maybe? Are we good? Yes! Uh, grab the hammer. The stick. I thought for a split second there was still a dude standing over there. Pumpkins for two bucks! Where are the pumpkins, dude? Wait, so does that mean that the, ha the apocalypse for this world, this world's lore, happened sometime in the fall? I hear a heart. Does that mean that there's fog in here? Okay, so maybe the fog to Ooh, workbench? I will sure as hell yoink that! Can I get out the door? <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, if you find workbenches of any sort out in the world, you can hit a button. It actually has it on there that you can move it in. And you could just take off with it. There's a lot of them that you can find out in the world and just take home with you. 12 gauge double barrel shotgun! Two shots and I died! I, I died? I died. I wonder what it takes to destroy the nest. This is like a create a Molotov type of situation, kind of like a uh, Days Gone. What? Where did I just. I dropped something out of my inventory. I don't know where it went. I think it was a match or something. Oh, there's other stuff here. Um, hang on. Let me see if that... Ah! I did not mean... Sprained my ankle. Daggummit. Uh, can I drop you? You. You. And you. Uh, how do I fix? Can I wrap it? Hang on. Endure it by taking a pill, or fully restore it with... Why is it telling me about food poisoning? Do I have food poisoning? Because it doesn't say that. It's telling me the treatment for food poisoning. Okay. Oh, it fell through. Okay. I will take the matches, though. As soon as I want to try and start cooking food and stuff, I'm going to need that. 
Uh, we've got pants and we've got a shirt. I'm gonna have to come back because I don't have enough stuff. I don't have enough room. Stop, stop standing on the stuff and things. You're gonna wind up hurting your ankle even more. And that's not good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think what's gonna have to happen here is I am very shortly gonna have to just cut the episode because I've got a sprained ankle. There's really nothing you can do about the sprain aside from take some medicine, but even then I can't really go any faster for fear of making it worse. And I am just gonna be walking this home and possibly coming back, filling up my boxes and walking them home. And that's essentially it. I'm gonna keep the recording going just in case anything else happens, but I kind of doubt it unless I happen to get stuck out in the middle of nowhere. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and end it here. I will see you guys next time. You have a wonderful day, one for that, and you stay shiny. Bye! And she's very, very unhappy because I locked her out of the room and she didn't get her snacky snack in between videos. Okay, here you go. I have got very, very important works to be doing, cutie kitties. Very, very important works to be doing. Like collecting loot and poking the neighbors.